Alrighty, good morning folks, this is Jason with the Primal Outdoors channel. And uh, if you guys have been following my channel, you know I did a review on an exoskeleton system a few months ago. Well, another company, Ascentes, has actually sent me their exoskeleton system, and there's a few differences in it, and I'm very excited to give it a check out. Okay, so one thing I'm noticing right off about this Ascentes system over the other exoskeleton is it's modular. So the pieces actually connect to it. The belt is actually adaptable to other uh, accessories so you can get it with the hip which is what I'm going to show you guys first but you can also get other accessories which is like their knee which I'll show you guys a little later in the video all right guys so I got these Sintas exoskeleton on and I've already taken some time off camera just to kind of play with them I got everything set up with the app and everything and I've been playing with some different modes and I just have to tell you guys like right off the gate these are a significant, very significant upgrade over the last exoskeleton legs I was sent. One, listen. If you guys watched the last video I did, you know that the other exoskeleton was very noisy. You sounded like Robocop wandering around but these imperceptible i can't hear them at all in fact i almost forgot to mention that to you guys because i just wasn't hearing them second the assistance is real like i can really feel it not only like lifting my leg but putting my leg down it definitely is perceptible i mean it's not going to take away you doing any work but it definitely feels like help like actual assistance yeah my first impression very good so far i've tried walking running doing a little uphill now the one thing that i will say is it does have a lot of different walking modes so when you are selecting what you want uh, it does take a couple steps for it to you know engage and figure out what you're doing so say if you're wanting to just do a you know a movement like stepping up over a log you're probably not going to get much assistance there because there's just not enough repetitive motion for you to actually for it actually to figure out what it's doing but if you're going upstairs or up a steep incline then it can understand that because you're doing a more repetitive motion i am far more impressed with this product than i thought i would be i honestly didn't think it was going to be any different So one thing I should note that I didn't do a ton of running in this thing, uh, just a little bit. It is really hot today. It's like 95 degrees and we've got smoke in the air, which is typical for our time of year, which sucks. But yeah, I really feel like I would need to do a lot more testing on the running side to uh, fully perceive what it's doing there. It just doesn't feel quite as much like it's assisting me in that motion versus the walking which is very significant but like i said i didn't do a, a ton of running so i'd really like to hold my opinion on that till i have a time to spend more with the system you know running but unfortunately i only have the system for a few hours today and it's got to be shipped back off to another creator so probably won't get into that too much here So again, like I mentioned earlier, it usually takes a couple of steps before the system can figure out what you're doing. So my ladder here is probably just too short, but I didn't feel a lot of help when I was climbing it. So that's just something you have to be aware of. It does still need like a couple steps to, for the AI to figure out what it is that you're doing. So things like this, probably not gonna be an application where you're gonna wanna use it. Yeah, I tell you what guys, coming up this hill, like this thing is significant in how it's helping me. I really do feel like um, it's helping me lift my leg and it's also helping me uh, like step down. And that was something with the other system, I didn't feel that. I could feel it lift my leg, but I could never really feel it uh, step down and help me with the upward propulsion step. 
So and the cool thing about the AI system is it adapts to what you're doing. So if you have AI turned on, when I'm hiking up, it adapts to hiking up. But when I start hiking down like this, it adapts to that and actually puts a little resistance on my legs to help control my descent. That's really handy. Man, I tell you what guys, I picked the worst time to test this thing. It is so hot out here and smoky. I've already drank like two of these and two of these seltzer waters. I'm just going through water and I've made sure Ben has water on the other side too because we just keep going up and down these hills over and over again, you know, to give a full test or as best a test as we can in the time that we have this thing. So one other cool thing about the Bell beyond the fact that you can get different devices for it is the way they've designed it is they have these little uh, connectors that connect to it. So you can accessorize it with uh, different pouches, you can hang keychains from it. There's a variety of different little accessories that you can get that actually just link into these, this link system they have on the belt, which is super handy. All right, so one other thing that you can do with this is you can accessorize it if you're into that. It's not really my thing. I think I'd be fine with the gray one, but if you would like to accessorize it, there are options. You can get these different little caps and they just pop on so you can accessorize it if you'd like to. All right, so this is another system that Sintas is working on. This is gonna work a bit differently than the hip system that you guys saw me earlier. This is called their knee system. And it basically helps support your knees when you are either going upstairs or going up steep inclines or coming down. So if you have like a knee injury or any kind of problems with that, it will help you as you're coming up or down. And it also can supposedly help runners this is still very much into production and they're working on some of the software bits on it. So, but it does actually hook to the same waist belt as the hip system. So it's nice that it's a complete modular system. So one thing I'm really liking about this system over the other one as I'm getting it figured out and fitted is where the power button is. On the other unit I tried, it was on your back, back here where the actual battery is. And it was very difficult to you know, kind of know what you were doing and finding the button to turn it on. This is really easy. It's right here. I can see it and it's part of that same modular system. So I actually can take it off and I can shift it around a little bit if I do want it in another position. But yeah, just being able to control the unit is a lot easier from here. And I can also use the app if I want to be able to use the app, but I can also set different modes and different strength settings right from this unit. So you don't actually have to have your phone on you all the time. A few quick notes on the Sintas app. The app lets you customize your exoskeleton's performance to match your specific needs. From the home screen, you can switch between the hip and the knee systems. And this is also where you can select your preferred assistance mode. There are three to choose from, easy, ACC, and training. For most of my use, I kept the system set to ACC. It seemed to work best for the terrain I was in. You'll also find a power slider that adjusts how much assistance the unit gives you, more or less depending on what you need. If you toggle the AI mode on, the system will automatically adapt based on your movements. With AI mode off, you choose the type of activity you want the unit to assist you with manually. One last note, Ascentis is also making the system open source, which means the third parties will be able to develop their own software and accessories. All right guys, well, I know that I didn't get a lot of time with this Ascentiv exoskeleton today, but just what little I did with it immediately let me know that this thing is a much different device than the last exoskeleton I tried. Uh, the programming on this one just, is better like it just really does help assist you when you're walking i really feel it uh, on flat surfaces but i really did notice it going up and down hills which is something that you know i do a lot and that's really nice now there's still a couple cons with a system like this a because of the fact that it does have the belt as cool as it is that's going to conflict with like a full-size backpack that has a waist belt having those sit and ride nice together is going to be somewhat challenging 
And then the other thing that people do need to keep in mind is if you're out on public land and you're in a designated wilderness that this would not be allowed to be used because it's mechanized. You know, national forest, BLM, national grasslands, all of those are fine for you to be out using this, but a designated wilderness, there is nothing mechanized that can be used in it. And that includes mountain bikes, e-bikes, chainsaws, yeah, anything that with a mechanized is not allowed to be used in the wilderness. So that is something you should think about if you're thinking about using this to do some wilderness hikes. But other than that, like I said, this one definitely works a whole lot better. And if I was to show some interest in this right now, this is the one that I would definitely uh, look at. Now, again, like I said in my last video, I don't feel like this is something I need right now, but as I continue to age and I feel my body continue to degrade because I can tell you that at 53, uh, I know I'm not old, but I'm not getting any younger and I've already noticed that uh, don't quite have all the uh, stamina that I used to. I can definitely see uh, maybe looking into one of these in the future. This technology is only going to continue to progress. And for many people that may have like, um, given up on hiking, this could eventually evolve into a technology that could bring that back for some people. Anyways, what do you guys think about this one? Uh, let me know down in the comments. Is it still, is it something that you would think about for yourself? And why would you think about it for yourself? Let me know that. Let me know what your reasoning for why you would want to use this down in the comments. Anyways, guys, we're going to, I'm going to get this thing packed up and then I'm off on to another adventure. So, Thank you guys for tuning in and we'll see you guys again outside.